what's up everybody welcome back to the youtube channel uh this is actually gonna be a back-to-back -back video so i'm kind of excited about that uh right now just uh dropped off some stuff to my guys that way they could keep their day busy and going and that way i could have a little free day today and mess with uh mess with these cars uh, i usually don't do that but we've had the fj60 out for a while or the land cruiser for a while it's been down and uh, I finally got a carburetor for it so uh, I'm actually heading home to my dad's and pick up the trailer and then I'm taking it to south so that's gonna be a pretty interesting interesting day hopefully everything goes good hopefully there's no no hiccups which dealing with with these cars you never know but yeah stay tuned and uh this is gonna be a video for my land cruiser people my new subscribers uh, you know they it seems like those cars are very well enjoyed so hopefully i can get to that because i enjoyed it for a little bit and it just started becoming the snowball uh effect on leaks uh, stuff not being done right stuff like that so uh, I got all the oil leaks fixed now hopefully I could get this carburetor on and uh, get it going I was gonna go fuel injected version down the road but as of now I want to stick this Weber carburetor on there I also got a spacer from uh, something outfitters I think they're the ones that make it so uh, I'm not gonna walk you guys through it. I'm pretty much gonna install it and give pointers where, where uh, like what you need to do if, you, if you're installing this. But you know, taking off the carburetor and putting it on, it's, it's, it's if you've done it once, you know, it, it's gonna be the same process. It's just with this one, you delete all the vacuum lines. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I can't drive it to Sal's it's it's not far from my house but I don't want I mean who knows it, it started leaking a little oil from the crank seal again um, I don't know if it was leftover or when it builds pressure but I don't want to go through that so I'm just gonna pick up the car hauler um, pick up the FJ and then go to Sal's hopefully I can get everything done today because uh, I can't be taken off you know to mess with these cars especially right now that we're getting busy but yeah, guys, stay tuned. Um, and we'll see you guys when we get the FJ. Right, guys so the fj is out got the car hauler got the truck losing air uh hopefully it turns on uh sounds like shit but it turns on so the plan is to get it going and be able to do the carburetor so i got everything in there i just need to get some straps and I think that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna use my new straps because those are for the G. I got everything. I don't think I need anything else for that car. But yeah, off to the shop we go. Hopefully we can get this thing resolved because if not, it's sad to say, but it's gonna have to go if I can't get it running right. Oh, we're gonna have to add some mushroom piston. That's from uh, that's from Disney. And then of course, the hot dogs are in full effect. 
these guys were ready to go, but they're not going. South we go but first I gotta buy these guys drinks that's a little tradition I do get myself a Red Bull too get them some Red Bulls uh, and get the day started I got my shift on the fly so go back don't go too uh, too aggressive on the tune. And yeah, I mean, hopefully this thing doesn't move, but Big Red is in the back, loaded. Yeah, guys, let's go. Uh, as far as, so as far as uh, getting this thing going, I don't think it's gonna be too hard of a problem as far as changing the carburetor, because I think that's easy. Uh, but I think the main issue is gonna be getting, deleting the, uh, deleting the, what's that called? The EGR, I think is what they call them, the whole vacuum the delete kit uh desmog there you go desmog so i think that's gonna be the most pain getting all that stuff out uh but i mean if i don't finish it today the good thing is uh i could come home leave the fj there um and get it done tomorrow or throughout this week the shop guys about to get ready to start tearing this thing down this is the chinese about to get the the uh, weber out but yeah check out sal's beautiful shop that's beautiful cars i mean one-stop shop check out the stinger ah the stinger the slingshot that i'm telling you guys that Got it all bagged out. Thing is sick. But yeah guys, stay tuned. Like I said, this isn't gonna be a how-to video, but we'll see how it goes.
so giving me a little pain, but it's coming out. Chinese carburetor out. Uh, I do not recommend Let's get this. Sucks. Um, I'm using a little tripod from one of the homies in here. Yes, but it's out. I get the Weber. Oh, uh, even when you're taking your stock one, remember to take off the throttle linkage and the choke uh, right here and throttle throttle. Other than that, easy to take off. Let's get the Weber in there. Ugh. Like I said, I have you on the tripod. Let's get the Weber. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. It's a little blurry, shaky. So here is the spacer, gaskets, hardware, and the spacer. So it's made by JT Outfitters. So let's continue. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. Check out this 69 Camaro, all done here. Uh, red on red, sick OBS, LS swapped, and these restoring. So, all right, guys. So, I'm not gonna do a how to, but I'm gonna start putting this thing together. heard get a little oil on these cork before you put it on here's the hardware actually I think we're gonna have to take those studs off because these Couple hours later, we finally got it done. Desmogged. Still need to take this off. Still need to finish some lines. But the carburetor's on, and uh, it's running. We're gonna take it off for a little test drive. But it wasn't a bad, a bad uh, install. You had to do a little bit of modification, notch it. But other than that, it's kind of. Um, it's not that hard. Just getting the bolts. So I mean, thing took me a handful of hours, probably three, four hours. Uh, so I need to plug some stuff over here, but I want to test drive it. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, I didn't end up filming the last little part where I installed the Weber carburetor on the FJ, but uh, as you guys can see, I'm rolling. So far, it's been driving good. I feel like I need to adjust maybe here and a couple things here and there. For sure, what I would like to do is maybe get a new distributor uh, to make it look, uh, make it run a little bit better since the Weber, you know, it's like an upgrade. But other than that, guys, uh, on my FJ guys, on my Land Cruiser guys, sorry. Uh, some people get mad if you call them FJ60s, I guess. So for all my people that have Land Cruisers, if you can give me some advice on, uh, what's a good route, uh, any
anything else y'all would recommend. I got the Weber carburetor. Um, it was running a little rich yesterday, but so far it's been running good. I leaned it out, messed with the idle. Um, and it's, it's running good. I'll do a little video. Got the AC in here, uh, cold. That's the nice part about these old school cars. Um, it's running real good. Drove it for probably two hours, three hours with yesterday, today, and um, going about 70 miles an hour, 65, 70, and uh, no issues. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm really gonna try to get this this uh, YouTube thing, give it a little more dedication, and. Uh, that way you guys can enjoy the cars with me and see what we got in store for them. So uh, I was a little bummed out that MJ was down, but I'm happy that it's back up. Uh, but yeah, guys, other than that, I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a little bit, enjoy it, let my wife enjoy it and have her drive it because this is hers. Uh, but other than that, we're rolling. Guys on the next one.